Hey guys, it's Tanya from Four Girls Jewelry. I want to share today my new pendants. It's kind of cool when you have leftover beads and you don't know what to do with them. So you can use any leftover stuff you have in very asymmetrical pieces like this. Plus, I didn't use torch today at all because a lot of people say like texting or um, emailing me that they cannot complete my project because they don't use torch and i understand that i was always afraid of torch myself so this one zero heat um i even didn't heat the wires when i work with them but for those who have a gas stove and it's hard to work with the wires you can uh, create a little uh like a bunch of the wire together like a circle and put it on top of the stove if you have a gas underneath like gas stove that's what i do sometimes to warm up like pre-anneal my wires and they are amazing to work with they will be black you put them later don't touch because they're hot and put them in under the running water dry them and use them so that's a tip but um for this piece today we will use three different gauges we will use 16 18 for the frame and 24 to bind everything together plus we use 24 for a little dangle here and like i said they they just uh sometimes you don't want to use your uh, headbands and these are really really cute that's just the little beads on the bottom and i will show you how i made them so let's start from uh, beginning from the swir swirl um we don't this is perfect size for it and it's already hammered i like to hammer it and this is 16 gauge so i will show you quickly how i made that uh, we started from one end and i always cut this little piece because you don't want to have a p shape you want to have where is my leftover here we want to have beautiful round one so that's how we want to have our swirl and i use pliers to just go around sometimes you need to push because i didn't want these so they are tough wires but i can handle them so when this swirl is around here i will just hold it push it back and this is my beautiful swirl ready to go inside my jewelry i did damage a wire a lot with the, with the pliers but i don't care because i hammered them like i said so you know even see how i did like this is so damaged and then i hammer it anyway so it's remove all the damage from my pliers because i work with home depot pliers they not uh, for the jewelers but i love them so okay so that's the first thing i did and let's measure after you're done it will be one and three fourth inch long that's what we needed exactly for our measurement if you want it longer to make it create larger bail you can do it too it's just idea so here we are we have our swirl and we will make a frame now this is 18 gauge and i started to create one and then and something happened with my uh, video so i will start over again from the other end so what i do is you can also because it's 18 gauge i might get better uh, shape here but you can also cut and that's what i do little piece here then i do again with my round nose pliers something like that and we have construction next door and those noises are crazy they're still building okay so here is the one more and i do it by um by eye so it's not really exactly same but almost you can tell so this doesn't have to be that sharp anymore and here we are having another one 
could be smaller, could be larger. That's the one here. And then we go to the top. We're going, we're going up. I like this way here. And I will make a couple swirls, like a complete circles here. So it's like complete. One. Then this one, I want to make it a little bit larger. And you know why? Because I want to put, I want to have one, two, three, four, four beautiful spaces where I can add anything I want. So if you create something like that, make sure this one is smaller and then that stands out this way so you can use your dangles there, right? Uh, okay, and then my last one here. Again, this is what I create, but you can guys be creative and make, if you want to make more here, uh, whatever you want, seriously. And here is my, that will be the last swirl I want to use, like a little ending for my pendant. And see, it's, um, again, we can play with that, make it more crazy how we want it. And this is my last to the frame cut and make that's it so now we have a frame and we have our little swirl inside so that's you decide what you want to put it if you want to put it up down so we will not have two frames here i'll put frame away i need 24 gauge now let me grab a little 24 gauge it's not 24 it is 24 so i will use a piece of 24 it's not a large piece but not a long not a long one before i start combining everything together just push this piece from because we need to have access in the last this last wire last row has to be separated from the rest you know what i mean like little a little space here so you can anchor with your wire and we will do probably from the middle So let's see, like this, so I can, I put my swirl on one side and just combine low together two times. Um, I don't put anything, like when I, I did anchor to here, it's all, um, each design you guys probably will have different one, different measurements maybe, but you just try to attach your um, swirl to the frame. So I, I attached two here, two here, and then I needed to put one bead. So um, let me see any bead that I would you can use something like this maybe okay so let's see so use this bead and one eye you can attach what you want, but I will probably attach to the second leg. So I will attach here. We'll do one, two. And then what I will do is I will go around the bead. Around the bead. 
like this so it will showcase the bead better do you see it yeah and then when you meet the side you just attach it here okay so we have one if we keep building we keep building the stuff you can add uh, you can add here a little bead like I did see I started from here in each time will be different because I add this one and attach it between so I actually attach it between here it's also possible so you know it depends it's it's you just fill the gap uh, I want to put one bead here let's say I'll put the green one so you can guys see in that little space here attach to the wall to the frame okay even if you attach twice that's enough that's more than enough and then again go around the bead around 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 and attach to the frame so here I, I want to put one large bead so I but just I just needed something large it could be it could be something big something can go inside here so see you 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 see now so then you go through the thing here you attach to the main one um, you can go inside here in this in your swirl thing so it will not fall apart or anything you know just added more layers of the wire this my wire doesn't want to go it does happen you have to just push it there okay see it okay ah see i cut i cut my wire <laughs> but you can add another one and just put it more wires and keep going attach your other bead attach everything together so that's i don't want to continue doing it but you know what i mean so you can accessorize how you want so then later because you have this corner here you go you attach here here you can put a little bit here if you want one large bit there and just tie everything together to the frame this will be different than the other one of course but what else i want to show how i add those little little attachments here so i use I use leftover pieces of wire because you will always have some pieces of wire left and what I did because in this in this pendant I use my jump rings but I decide in the second one not to use any jump rings just attach them to because it's it's closed so nothing will go with them I mean they will not go anywhere right so what i did is i just attach basically inside each little dangle so i want to show you how i did the dangle so you any any wire you have but it has to be sort of long because you can't create uh, unless you want to make something small so this one is seven inches long so i basically do more than a half and i will do my um, my wrapping here so i will do two three four five then i will switch to this normal pliers i will hold this so we have five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so um I use 15 for the long 12 13 14 15 
so that will be enough for let's say something like this but you can make it longer because you still have wire 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 5 26 but 26 27 one's going on top of the other one i don't like that so you know okay so let's say we did whatever wraps it was okay done and um, i will use a bead then what i do is i just go around the bead nicely around the bead Do you see it and then just nicely twist here and cut so this use just 24 gauge wire nothing else and you know hammer with your um, rubber mallet a few times so it will have nice structure like work hard in the wire and you have your dangle so um you can use it this one way too long for that one but i use one very long in this piece see how long it is definitely long so yeah so that's up to you so you guys can use even larger beads if you wanted to for the same thing i was thinking that's why i calculate 15 because 15 was for this and i thought i will make 15 for each earring so it will look exactly the same lengthwise right that's it and you can make nice um you can hammer this piece before you i probably will do it so that's why i didn't do it because i will hammer it nicely and then i will make a nice um bail because i want to put just simple chain through it and it has to be definitely nicely tacked so touching together so your chain will not have a chance to escape when you uh sell your jewelry guys i hope you like it and you will be creative and create something very unique with your swirls with asymmetrical shape with all kinds of leftover beads and i would love to see if you can send me um email or something with your images Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next Tuesday with a different cool project. Thank you for watching. Please, please share about me if you can or make a little post on Facebook or anything so people can watch more and more. We'll have an amazing group together. Thank you and see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.